Hi, I'm Kimberly, Kelly's maid of honor, and her younger sister. Thank you to Kyle and Kelly for letting me be a part of your big day and letting me give my speech this way. I couldn't remember if you said I had to give a toast or a roast, so let's find out what I have to say. Kelly Jean, you've been my rock since we were preteen. Even though we are six years apart, you've always been my best friend at heart. From preschool to eighth grade, you've been the best role model ever made. I'll never forget all the bus rides on number 40. Mom and Dad love to make us match, oh lordy. You went on to become a thoroughbred, not knowing that the best man in your wedding would take the horse head. You excelled in academics more than sports and later were accepted into a school who rocked the jorts. It was truly sad when you moved away. Whose wardrobe was I gonna steal from day to day? I'm truly proud of all your accomplishments you've achieved. A nursing degree is what you received. College may have been the best time of your life, but now you're such a beautiful wife. Kyle, even though we did not grow up together, I cannot picture Kelly being with anyone better. I'm sure Craig and Krista could tell many stories, but we won't get into that, no worries. As a St. Mary's Saint, you made lasting friendships more than a few. Today, they are here to celebrate with you. On the soccer field is where you led. Your friends grace you with the nickname of Big Head. Brosser and Newcath were always a foe. I'm curious to see where your kids will go. I knew I liked you because we have a Bearcat bond. Since Kelly is a Wildcat fan, she's not very fond. At UC, you thought you came for just the beer. Instead, you came out a mechanical engineer. You grew to be such an outstanding mister who will make the best husband for my sister. On Monday nights, they play bocce ball. Kelly is short, Kyle is tall. Their first date was at Pompilio's. I bet you Kyle ordered a SpaghettiOs. All was going really well. Love was brewing, we could all tell. Although a keg may have been involved, they shared their first kiss and love evolved. Who knew a UK Miami football game would later change her last name? A trillion years later, Kyle realized he could no longer date her. Kyle used his cats as bait as a proposal to his soulmate. Luckily, Kelly said yes and went and got herself a wedding dress. Somehow we survived all the pre-wedding parties and are gathered here today with only a few tardies. Everything about your wedding day has been so beautiful and swell. Who knew Kyle and Kelly could clean up so well? Kelly, you may no longer be a miss, but you will always be my sis. So here's to this new ride of your life, now as husband and wife.